The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Monday. This is March the 21st and we're looking at the Dow down 130 at 34,623. It was a surprise to see that the futures which were down sharply last night and then started to come back this morning and then saw the Dow actually make a new recovery high from the fabulous action Wednesday, Thursday and Friday last week. The Dow and the S&P closed at highs. And each day there was an intraday overnight pullback and then a, a, a move to the upside. So the fact that you went to new highs means that there was residual uh, trading that didn't get quite finished on Friday. And uh, money came in. But under any other circumstance, you should have seen uh, intraday from the almost from the opening, some kind of a 20 to 30 percent pullback of the last hours trading on Friday. That would be normal. We saw that Thursday before the rally. We saw that actually Wednesday. So this is very unusual. Now there's a composite and it says, you know what, we've probably seen the highs of the day. In fact, we might have seen the high today going into Tuesday. It might be Wednesday before we can see further rallying. We'll see. Day's young. But most importantly, the Dow did go to 34,808. That, to me, is important because what it says is that that whole area of the Chapman Wave inside track right here, this is the green and, and red trend lines to the downside, that becomes really good support in 34,000. Well, first of all, the 200 period moving average of 34,370s. I bet you can go all the way down to the 34,000 level and still have support. I don't want to see that. Why? Because the stochastic is at 93%. I mean, that is fantastic. The MACD is very strong on the daily chart. The 9 is over the 14th. That's a confirmed uh, uh, buy mode. And that says you should go to at least a D. It doesn't mean to say you have to do There's a rule. But that's basically the uh, charter of the uh, Chapman Wave methodology. And to go with that, the unbalanced volume is rallied, rallied well. And there's a little gray line that you can see on the left in the daily chart. That's the relative strength index, and that's doing very nice. Everything says this is a much needed consolidation after spectacular three days, it's really four days. We went long the Dow on Tuesday morning pre market, equivalent of about, I'd say, uh, 30, around about 33,000. Uh, maybe 32 900s uh, because we went to the diamonds which is a little bit different because it was trading uh, before the open on tuesday um, now what's important is that within the context of the weekly chart you see what was chapman wave inside track propellant zone got broken uh, you had a chapman wave roman candle this is a positive one that was the week of the uh, that was week of i think it was february the January the 28th. And then it ran up two bars and the third bar came back down. Then it took it out, went down to the low of 32,272. And now what we're looking at is that this um, support level that became resistance is back to being resistance. And you can see the Chapman Wave inside track down trend line. I don't want to overdo it here. Down trend line. And that's just combining to say you can move sideways and go out of this line, but it is it is a resistance. So everything here fits. Right now, I'm looking at a market that says this is exactly where I would have thought that you would be at about this time, maybe a half an hour later. Uh, this is 10, 10, 10 in the morning. I would have thought maybe 1030. This is you'd be down 140 ish points. Uh, We'll see what happens for the rest of the day. Now, what's really important, let me show you something very interesting. The S&P, and I spent some time with my subscribers on Saturday uh, when I, I did my video, my overview, showing them this particular pattern. Remember, we spoke about the green Roman candle. It's the same thing here, January the 28th in the S&P. But the monthly chart made this pattern right here. And the reason why I make I fixate on this is because over the decades that I've done this, 
I don't know how many times we've looked at that candle. There's the same candle, February of 2018, just after the all-time high was made at 2872.87, uh, January of 2018. The next month was uh, a little bit lower. Let's see. Uh, yeah. And what we saw was there's a little Roman candle, and that's one thing. But the real big one, was back in another one was almost almost a Roman candle May of uh, 2015 after the 2134 high three uh, one month later we make that candle and then it was a repeat candle that was a successful one because it went below it this is the candle of January of 2016 but of course those of you who have been around for a while know that the one that really was the pillar of of testing. The Chapman Wave methodology was the one after the all-time high in October 2007 at 1576.09. The following month, we had a perfect Chapman Wave Roman candle, and then it, it, it had a doji candle, inside candle, and then it plunged the following month, which was the month of January of 2008. It produced another Roman candle, which tested the low. Then we made the dreaded H pattern, failed, and we plummeted down from... 15,000, 1576 to 666.70 something, 79, yep, 79 in March of 2009. Remember, that's when Larry was calling uh, for um, for weeks. He was talking about some spectacular uh, low that would be made. And I was doing my own work. And fortunately, we got the Dow on the 6th of March. That was Friday. We got the low in the diamonds, went long had that for about 18 months and it was on the on Monday that the S&P made its low. So uh, we're looking at um, really um, 666 and we're trading right now at 44.49. I would say that's pretty much a bull market right there. So to expect it to continue is quite a quite a chutzpah on our part. But look, you've held very well so far in this uh, monthly chart. But March has another almost two weeks to go. Anything can happen, and it usually does. So let's get out of this. I want to go back to just really quickly. I want to show you the QQQ. Uh, the reason why I say that it's going to continue to lag, but some of the stocks within it should start to find a base. It's because it's had such a tremendous move of lower lows and lower highs for so long that it's impacted the monthly chart with yet another Roman candle last month. And we've gone below the left side low to 317.45 in the dreaded H pattern in the daily chart that impacted the weekly chart. So I see a lot of I don't see I, I don't think we need to break down. Uh, immediately and go under 317. But I wouldn't be surprised that if a chunk of consolidation takes a sideways trajectory in a rectangle formation with kind of limited 357 resistance, another 10 points higher in the uh, queues before we really f find some kind of a base that looks out further. The IWM has held very well, the Russell small caps, but so far they're not really showing leadership role, but they're showing good, good strength. Uh, did I do all this? Gold. Uh, gold is now up six at 1935. Still in this consolidation pattern of 2078 in the uh, continuous contract down to just under 1900, 30 in 1935. I'll be back in a moment. Bowser Chapman, Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hello, let's go back, and I'm looking at the uh, Tiger uh, Dan, uh, BBIG, a uh, BBIG. <coughs> no, type that, but type it to the Dan. Nope, don't type it there, type it here. There we go. BBIG, something I've followed periodically. Um, suddenly it pops up 16% uh, to 290. What was it again? Vince Ventures, Inc.? Oh, Vinco, Vinco Ventures. You know, I don't remember what it is. I looked it up once and I seem to have lost all that data. But this is a very good move. So you got these sporadic uh, pops to the upside here. What What is really important as far as I'm concerned is over the next, I, uh, well, the beginning of the week, over this particular week, are we looking at a situation where within the context of all the different sectors, you've gone back to looking at crude oil, let's look at CVX. CVX, nice bounce, but the high that was made at peak E at 173, was it? 174.76 on the 10th, pulls back very sharply, gaps down, now it's full the gap, gaps down to the 158 area, and now it's at 164. I think this consolidation is going to go on just a little bit longer. Remember, Buffett just bought a bunch of Oxy, all-time high. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not an all-time high. This is a high, all-time high. Uh, uh. Yeah, there we go. All-time high in Oxy. Oh, gosh, I used to have this all notated beautifully. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, Oxy trading, this is a peak. A, peak, B, peak, C. In leg D at a, a 61.86. Yes, the Chapman Wave inside wedge. The fall, Sorry, this is the falling axe pattern right there. Uh, there we go. And that says there's a chance that there could be, and this is the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. So I like to do that always. I call it a 1 16th, maybe a little bit more of an inch on your chart. That's a real technical term, 1 16th. How do you actually notate that, right? So, but it's just a narrow band. It's a little mini channel right here. And then you've got the larger X with lower highs and much lower lows. Eventually, finds a base, tries to turn around. It's in a peak A. You can, oh, this is a lower low. So the low of the March of 20th at $9 was taken out. It went to 8.52 on the October 2020. So this is really your starting uh, line. That's what I did. So this is peak A. 
This is occidental, A, oops, A, uppercase on the way up, B, alphabet, sequence, D, objective in the buy signals to get you at least a D. And there you are, an A, D in the monthly chart of oxy, occidental. Let me just type that in. Occidental Petrol um, Core. All right, multinational. Accidental is not, not a semicolon, it's an L. I tend to do that every once in a while. Yeah, it's a very, very good action if it breaks, if it starts on a monthly basis to trade in the uh, 65 area. Wow, that is really a, a, an amazing, wow, what did I just do there? An amazing feat. And talking about feet, um, let's see where the weekly is. So this is a brand new buy mode, A, B, C, D, E, F. So it's getting a little extended, but it's in the sweet spot. So extended means you can go even further. It's at 61. At this point, um, you're looking at between 59 and 50, 53 as very strong base at any time. If it has a sudden pullback, question came in. Uh, where did I see the question? Oh, what is that? 9.55 percent. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it broke up. 9.55. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was like five and a uh, five and a half, five and a quarter with oxy, maybe 4.8. Yeah, and look at Exxon. So all of these are doing well. Most of them are digesting gains. Oxy, because of Buffett, is breaking to highs, uh, recovery highs. Uh, the others are just digesting gains, and that's the pattern that we've looked at. This V-shape, inverted V-shape pattern, straight up, straight down, takes a little bit of time to, to recoup those losses um, and, and get back onto the up, uptrend. Uh, we're looking at a question came in here, if I can just find it. Uh, I can, uh, could I look at Caterpillar and Deer? Uh, Caterpillar is trading, uh, let's see. Caterpillar is at a new recovery high. This is a fabulous move up. This is Caterpillar Inc. heavy duty equipment. And it seems to me that it is directly related more to agriculture than infrastructure uh, based on what I'm looking at at this particular point. A, B, C, D, I think that might even be an E right there. Uh, two two twenty three no two twenty three seventy eight two twenty three seventy. Yep. So that's a D and that's an E. There could even be a Chapman wave inside a wedge. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I was talking at the same time as thinking. In here we go. Uh, so you've got your PD, and within two bars, you made a new recovery high. So you've got yourself an alternate count here of F slash B with an instant restart. And the MACD is strong. Stochastic is fantastic at 96. So this has 230.43, the, the high of the 18th of January as a target. Left side, right side, price, time match. Should I do that now live? Uh, yeah, why not? Okay, so we're going from there to there. But I like to choose what would be the plumb line. Well, this can't be the plumb line because we've used up in a quicker time frame. You've already gone that high. So what I naturally do is to go for the smallest candle, usually go for a doji candle right there. And then I try to match it to the right side and say, can we get to 230.43 in this amount of time? And that's going to be green. So we've got the V-shaped pattern or a cup formation, and that says, yeah, that's too short. That's not going to work. You have to go to the other one. So this will be one, two, three. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to go to the low. Let's go to the low and move it out to the right. And that goes right through that line. Yeah, that says that by the week of the 29th of March, that's within a week. What's today? 30th, no, 21st. Within, in a week or le less, you should have tackled the 230.43 high of January the 18th. That's a Caterpillar and key support is in the 215 to 12 area, uh, 210 area. So that that's really, that should be very strong support. Uh, Deer, Deer's trading up huge. It's trading up, had an open round number, open a 415.00, hit 426.80, and it is now 
at 422.36, up nine. Uh, we've been long since um, uh, 387. So that's a, that's a pretty nice gain. I, I have it. I have a question mark. Uh, I meant to do this on uh, Friday. I did discuss it, but I should have discussed it a little bit more. Saying the rectangle formation. Remember the IWM went into the sideways action for so long, and then it broke to a leg D. Uh, back in November, I think it was, it went to the uh, 244.6 side, it hit the 12. It will, then it went back into the rectangle, and then it broke down below it. So the big question is, so you've got the same thing here, in here trading between 393 and 320. It finally breaks to the upside. Can this last? This is something permanent, but I, I mean, permanent meaning in the month of chart. And I think, yeah, this is something that is pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. I meant to do this. Dow's down 167. S&P's down 14. I had drawn this in, and I drew it here with this cup formation in the one minute, 10-minute uh, chart of the E-mini from the high that was made at 44.65.75 at about 5 a.m. 5? That should have been p.m. Oh, on the 18th, just after the um, the close and that uh, configuration of the uh, uh, the different uh, indices. And what we were looking at is there was a pullback and it took all this time and it made a low right here at 150 on the 21st. 
and that was 150 on the 21st that was a.m. So it made this low. So what I was showing was there was a cup formation, and I, I started to do this, but I ran out of time when I was doing Tommy's show, um, and I, I didn't quite finish it, but what I wanted to show was, look at the plumb line from that high uh, in the 4465 area to the low that was made at 4430. It's uh, 36 points. Sounds like a lot, but these days, uh, and you can do that in the blink of an eye. In fact, we've just done it from the 4460. 4, 444.73 high that was made um, 30, 40 minutes ago to the 440 level we're at right now. So what I wanted to show is in my work, there's a particular technique that I use. I call it the left side, right side price time match. And it could go to the upside, it could go to the downside. But basically what I was looking at here is that I know people think that on the downside, invariably you get this waterfall cascade when you're going down, you go down, uh, what is it, climbing the stairs and down in an elevator or vice or whatever it is. Um, but I always say no. Most of the time you go up and down in the same number of bars. The market is really very orderly most of the time. But what happens going into a high or going into a low, the last couple of bars can be an acceleration as the nervousness of the fear of missing out or the fear of being in uh, takes hold. And look what happened right there to the exact bar. I don't want to count the bars other than to say, look at the measurement from the left to the right to the plumb line at 1.50 a.m. Um, <coughs> to the right side green uh, rectangle, little mini uh, sideways bar. We went there exactly and that uh, it was actually one bar. It got there exactly and then it had one extra bar to go to the higher 44.73.00. And now it's come back down. So what has it done? It's still remained in basically a rectangle formation. So I'm all about patterns and repeat. I'm I'm a visual artist. I mean, more ways than one. That's what I, when I left high school, as an athlete, I did not do any more athletics. Um, I went to art school. So uh, I'm a visual artist. I did uh, design. Then I went into music. Um, then I went to the stock market. So what we're looking at here is this rectangle, a long rectangle formation says that the base of 4430.75 right there, um, that's going to be key. Start to trade under it and then the 200 period moving average, this is a, a 10 minute chart of 4424 becomes in focus. The moment it gets below, or I would say, uh, any move on a closing basis below 44.29 says, uh oh, be careful, you could drop another five points to test the 200 period moving average. So that means we could actually stay in this range for a while longer. We'll see what happens. I, I'm, this, is, this is the consolidation I was expecting. Uh, today, I was pleasantly surprised. We actually ran up a little bit, but that was for other reasons. More importantly, what we're looking at is uh, this is the consolidation that you would expect in leg C being somewhat extended in uh, in the daily chart. So um, let's go back to a couple of questions that came in. Could I look at all oh, the questions? I did that, I did that, I did that, did that, did that. Um, could you just review uh, Shopify? Yeah, Shopify. S C H O P. Look at that big spike, and then it just faded. This is a stock that was at 1762.92 in November. Peak G in the uh, monthly chart, peak F in the daily chart, and uh, in the weekly chart, and the daily chart. I think it was an F. Yes, an F in the daily chart and Chapman Wave methodology. We took out the 200 period moving average daily support, and it broke down. The weekly went to a negative sell signal, then a sell mode and it plummeted to the most recent low of 510.02 on the 14th of March, screamed up. Can you believe it? going from 500 to 790 or 780? It was a 780.00 round number high. These round numbers can be a killer. Look at the 780 on Friday, 80.00. And all of a sudden it's trading at 655. I don't think it's ready. I think it will be ready later in the year, but right now it just needs more time. A couple more spikes like this, using usurping some of the downside energy, but also using up some of the upside. So I think it's in the trading band, but I do not want to see it below 580. Um, that's going to be, it, it goes below 580. It says, uh oh, 
there's a bigger problem than we thought. Online store individuals um, for individuals to use as a platform, Shopify Inc. S H O P trading at 655, 94 down, 124 down, 16 percent after a fabulous move to the upside. Um, I, and I know some of you. This, these are the stocks that you were looking at. This stock you signed that we've been talking about for a little while, just as examples of absolute leaders. I mean, lead, no, nobody was not talking about. Uh, DocuSign is one of the great companies, innovative, who's not going to be using electronic signing. Well, I'll tell you who's not using it. Those people that bought it at 314.76 in uh, August of 2021 and looking at it go down to 71, uh, they're, they're, they're saying, wow, I could drive in and, and deposit my, my uh, whatever information it is. I don't know if you're watching something go down. Why? What is this? Seventy something percent. This is a huge move down. So yeah, and um, so this DocuSign. And you remember, I love that it filled the gap. I love that it filled the gap. If DocuSign could actually start to trade, hold is it 9371 DOCU? Uh, if it can hold, 90 is too 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 little. If it can hold 88. In fact, if it could just touch 88 once, if it has to pull back, but immediately go to 103 to 105, I'll say this is the first sign that I'm seeing that DocuSign could get off the bottom uh, that it made. Uh, that was seven days ago. It was at more than that. At 70, oh, 71 round number low. Oh, look at these round numbers. 71 R slash N. Low, and that was on the. I forgot to look. I'm just going to call it for now. Three five. We'll go check and see what date it was. Twenty two, and here it is. Seventy seventy one round number low, to the high of today. A hundred. That's a thirty point. That is. That is a big gain. Forty forty percent or something in just days. See, this is what happens when you come off lows after being smashed to the downside. The percentage gain can be really big. Uh, this is the low of the 11th. I'm sorry, I said the 5th. The 11th was at 311. So this is a nice start. This is the first time I can actually say this is a good start to some kind of a turnaround because look at the histogram in the weekly chart improving. Um, that monthly chart says, are you kidding? I need a lot more time. It might need time, but this is really good that it got off the low like that. I like that part. So this is a much better chart because it's full of the gap and it traded above the gap. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, a break coming up. We're down 192 in the Dow, down 12 in the S&P. We'll be right back. A little worse in the Dow than the uh, S&P. We'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. I'm Basil Chapman here, and I'm the author of the Opening Call Date Newsletter. And uh, we've got some really nice trades. We've actually started something this morning, a very low price stock, but as a kind of an experiment to see whether or not we actually get some infrastructure building. Uh, I don't know if we're going to, but it seems to me that some parts of some sectors, like a caterpillar, might just not be grain related, it might be more infrastructure. We'll see. We've had a lot of money being uh, given out for that type of thing. So and another question came in. Could you just do another one of those left side, right side price time matches? Uh, because the 10 minute chart is held in the rectangle formation. So this is what I do. You see the stochastic went above 80 percent. But now it's an eight, it's, it went about 88. Now it's at 86 percent. As long as the stochastic can hold above. 80%. It can't go underneath it after so quick a time being below it. It means that there's going to be some support. And what I like to do is, within the context of, this is a one-minute chart, but it doesn't matter what it is. I go to the left side, previous highs. In this case, it happens to also be the 200-period moving average. And I take a left side from, in this particular right there, from 10 o'clock at 44.52.25. I see the pullback. And I draw in a cup formation because that's kind of what's forming at this particular time. The nine has gone over the four, so that's, that's a good sign. But there's very now the 200 period moving average, which is declining, not uh, not rallying, is at 44.49, and that just says to me the pattern that I'm looking at is that a cup formation can go with an inside wedge target resistance line, and that goes to about. 10.50, we're at uh, 10.44. At 10.50, actually, I should move it a little bit further. It says by 11 o'clock. By 11 o'clock, if there's a chance that we make a leg C, that's above the high, it was made at 10.42, at 44.47.75 in the S&P e mini, then there's a really good chance that we're going to go towards this high right here, the high of 10 o'clock at about 44.53. So... That's a, and it's not going to do that if it starts to fail. And then what I usually, I actually, when I'm doing this, I try to, I try to have my hands free so that I can draw the chance of a failure, which would be the arch formation. But so far, everything look as long as it's holding above the nine EMA, uh, the fourteen is above, the nine is above the fourteen, holding green. There's a chance that we can move higher. That's all you do. And then you have to have a fit. I always have very tight stops, and I just, it's got to do what it's got to do. There's nothing else at this point that I can do. More likely, it's, it's in this rectangle formation, it needs to show strength by powering right through, and it needs to do it fairly soon. So that's that. The other question I had was, where did it go? Uh, are you on? Nope, nope, not that. Oh, could you do a couple of stocks that are really important for, for the overall market in terms of those FANG area? Look, I'm including Microsoft. Microsoft, as I said before, I think it's in the area that need, needs more time. Look, Microsoft is in a rectangle formation. It's made an arch. It's had a spectacular move to 349, all-time high. Did have a cha two Chapman Wave 
um, Roman candles uh, that was it made its high back in November, but January and February, and it's already full the lows. So I think this is kind of stuck for now. So when you put it together with Facebook, it's the same kind of pattern, just it's routed off the low. I think it's now going to digest those gains. If you put it together with Apple, different categories altogether. Apple might be in the same sector, but Apple is consumer electronic software, online services. It's really a different, a different kettle of fish, and yet it's in the same big digester phase, same as DocuSign, same as the ones I've been looking at, even though this on a monthly basis, you say, wait a minute, this is fantastic action, and that's what I'm saying. You've got to try to take each one individually. That's number one. And number two is try to think of them in their own category. So Apple is more, it's like a consumer good that's really part of the infrastructure of, of the economy. And it's very different to having a, a, like Microsoft, but Apple has a different consumer perspective. So if I go to the XRT, which is the, this is the S&P retail equal weighted uh, so that Amazon doesn't have its huge, usual big weighting. What we're looking at is, um, yep, a nice leg C, but you can see this whole retail sector except for some isolated uh, uh, clothing apparel areas that are just doing fabulously. This is a sector that's taking a huge digestive period. Uh, again, if you look at the RTH, which is the same thing, but in the, um, so this is the S&P, but the Van Eck, RTH, here we go. RTH is the Van Eck retail ETF, and 20% is Amazon. And even with that, you see it's a big digestive phase, but it is a better pattern because uh, Amazon has been such a big weighting and is, is so important to it. But if you're looking at it as a sector, this is a, these, these are sectors that are having uh, you know, a lot of problems so I, I think there's going to be time needed to repair that kind of damage. If you're looking at the SMHs, um, SMHs, where did I type that? SMH, let's go there. SMH, look at this. SMH stalling right at the 200-period moving average. I think this is a sector that's saying, overall, this isn't a spectacular economy. We are, there are sectors that are doing very well. Overall, the semis are saying, oh, we're in a big digestive phase. And that's the way I look. NVIDIA, yeah, where they're having a meeting, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, big balance, big deal. Uh, it's still in a big digestive phase, stuck between, I'd say, 280 and two, uh, mm -hmm. 220. If you're looking at, oh, I just thought of it a second ago. I was about to do it, and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, oh come on. Oh, have a sip of tea. Oh, oh, good question came up. Good call, good call. What, what a good call was. Let me see. Are you talking about the E-mini? Oh, good call. Look at that. Perfect. Within the time. No, it's not perfect. We haven't made it yet. Uh, the the S&P just popped to the four. The leg C at 449, 4,449.75. Leg C. It's kind of struggling here, yeah, but it's still over the nine period moving average. It didn't get to the high that we wanted. Oh, well, it's still got another 10 minutes to go. But the le level we were looking at was 44, 52.25, and it went to 44, 49.50. It's close. It's getting close. So the two fighting patterns, here's the cup formation that's winning. That's what I love to look at, and it's viewing beautifully, and it's done the same. The time frame, uh, I use this as the plumb line right there, right there. So it means I need to move it over just a little bit because I, I didn't have enough bars to the right. There it is. Okay. And that takes you to 10.52. All right. We've got time. We'll watch this closely. <laughs> I love this live real-time action. So let me just sum up before we run out of time. IYT. This is the, the iShares Dow Jones Transportation Average Index Fund. Seven, uh, seven words. I mean, come on. Um, it's in the middle of the range. It's holding pretty well. Jets, which is the airline index, not doing very well. Come off, came off the bottom. Under 17 is trading at 20.18. J-E-T-S, down 40 is 20.18. So you can see when I say set activity, we're already talking set activity. So a couple of things that I was asked about, but I do the weeds, etc. Yeah, 
beat as his digest gains the spiral chapter Roman candle at 363. I'll talk about it. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So it, must, it went to that peak D. Remember, Chapman Way buy signal should go to a buy mode, meaning at least a peak D. It went to peak D in this one-minute chart. This is live. I want you to show you what we do and then how we try to do this. Uh, for subscribers to my opening call. Um, now what we're looking at, a quick question came in, or a question that I'll answer quickly, ARKK, this is uh, Kathy Wood's uh, ARK Innovation ETF, came off the bottom of 51.85 after having 125 high back in November of 2021. What a plunge, and it comes down and it's trying to rally. So the question here is, I've started position from the lows, uh, what what's next? Well, I like the fact that it's starting to show technical improvement. The nine hasn't gone over the 14 yet. I think this is summing up exactly what I'm talking about, that these are the sectors, these are the stocks in the sector that have been beaten down the most, that usually have a quick bounce, and then they have to find support. If ARC closes 63.74 today right now, if it closes any day below 61, it says, uh-oh, it has to find a whole new bunch of strength, and a lot of the stocks look like that. If it holds well, it made a new leg A continuation pattern today. If it's able to trade to 69, between 69 and 50 and 70, this week, that says, you know what, the low that was made might not be the low, but it's a low that is tradable and that you can start to see the moving averages in the in the weekly chart of 67 64 the 9 and 73 36 the 14 try to get tested for the first time since it broke down 
uh, in the fall of last year. When they say fall, they mean fall. So just as we're about to wrap up and hand you over to uh, Larry Pizzavento, I, I believe Tommy will be back tomorrow for his show. I did it this morning. I used that hour this morning. So I've been here since nine. Uh, I believe that, yeah, so we've got um, Larry Pizzavento. should be one of the shows always. Then you've got Thick or Swim. Then you've got uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien wraps it up. So check out the programming. Let's just see where that evening is going right now in the buy mode. Yep, it just broke out. Wow, look at that. 44.55. So this market is resolute. I like that. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Check out more.